everybody, it's Kimberly here uh, with the Electric Poppy, and it's my pleasure today to be guest designing for Miss Kate Cuttables. And today I'm putting together a Valentine's Day card, and as you can see, we're going to have some cute little um, baby characters in our card. And these are from the Zoo Bundle, and they have some darling little critters in there. And the other cut file I used. This is part of it. It doesn't look like much now, but this is a title, and these are going to kind of layer like this. I'll show you how this all goes together. And this is called Wild About You, and it comes with some jungle leaves. Yes, this is a jungle themed card. And also, um, this is just part of the hearts, but I use the nested hearts um, SVGs from her. So, I'll get started. I'll have all the measurements for these cuts on my blog at theelectricpoppy.blogspot.com. There will be a link down in the description. So today my card is going to be a larger card. It's 5 by 7 and I use some craft card stock for that. And then I cut just a single panel and I'll show you what I'm doing with this. It's 5 by 7 as well. And I created a peekaboo panel with those hearts, and I used Cricut Design Space and Cricut Explore to do these, and I just lined them up and did some slicing. If you have questions, leave me a comment. And then we're going to have um, a large rectangle and a smaller rectangle that's going to just be like an accent piece, and I had um, Valentine written on here with my Cricut Explore, and that is the... Uh, let me see, straight and slim font. So let's get started. And I'm gonna put my little characters aside here. So I'm gonna start with this plain panel. And I took these hearts and I embossed them with three different textures. And I'll show you why. So, I'm going to use this as a template, my main card piece here, and I'm going to insert these hearts right in there. And there we go. So I'm going to just pop that off. And then I'm going to have this pop popped up on foam adhesive, you'll see, and it's going to create a nice little shadow. So I'm going to set that aside for now. And let's see here. So I'm going to line this back up because I'm going to use it as a guide again. And for these little critters, I use the um, PNG file that's included with your purchase and I did the print then cut on these because I just think they're so darling and I used some glossy accents there you can see it to make the eyes and nose pop so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these little animals down a little bit. So I'm going to figure out where I want them to live here. So, of course I always move things and then I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm just going to use my pencil here to kind of mark where I'm going with that one. So I'm going to get brave and trim these down a little bit. giving myself plenty of room here. I'm 
All right. So what I'm going to do with this is kind of get an idea of where I want them to live. So for this, I'm going to use my multimedia mat just in case there's a little seepage. Let me get this started. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue right around there. There he is. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. And then we can work on our title. So this has two shadows. I chose um, kind of a darker brick red for the darkest shadow. And this is kind of a speckled cream cardstock. So I'm going to put that down. And use my trusty tweezers. They always help me. Get everything kind of straightened up here. And those just line up beautifully. Just like that. And then this strip of paper is an adhesive strip. I used my Xyron um, Create a Sticker. And I like that for my little pieces. So I'm going to put the Wild and You down first, I believe. <laughs> you know how we like to change our minds. Just like that. See how quick that comes together? Like I said, I'll have the measurements on my blog. And then I'm going to give that one little piece a little bit more time to set up. So I'm going to put my two um, accent panels together. And for this, I was going to put it right in the middle, but I think I'm going to bring this over just a little bit for some interest. So... Let's see. I always change my mind about what I want to do, and I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Adhesive for this. Give me a little bit of... Just like that. And then this is going to be on top of here, just like that. So this is coming together rather quickly, so... So next thing I'm gonna do is bring my main card over here and I'm going to add this panel here. I've got glue on my hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> and again, I'm gonna use my Tombow Mono Adhesive for this. up real nice. Then we'll put our panel on here, our accent panel. Just like that. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and add this whoops before I do that I was going to add my leaves see I'm getting ahead of myself and these leaves just kind of fit together like this Okay, turn it off so I'm not fighting it. So I am going to lay this down about right there. I'm going to put my leaves under here. Just like that. See? And we are just about done with this. So I'm going to flip my panel over and I'm going to use some foam adhesive and get this put down. And then I'm going to take the backing off of this. Okay. So that is the card. I like how it turned out. And I think any kiddo would be happy with that. Sorry about the light changing. So please leave any questions in the comments down below or just anything. And again, um, visit Miss Kate Cuttables. She has awesome files and I'll have the link for the store down in the description. And like I said, the measurements on my blog. Have a good day. Bye-bye.